So the wait is finally over. Apple have announced an event for the 10th of November where we expect to finally see some Apple Silicon Macs. Here are my thoughts. Uh, naturally, regular viewers of the channel will know that I'm pretty excited about the launch of Apple Silicon. Uh, not because I've got some special passion for Apple products, uh, but simply because they're trying to do something different. And yet, I fully understand they're doing it for financial reasons, but I think we as consumers will benefit from Apple's new adventure into their own silicon. There's been a lot of rumours, a lot of speculation, and uh, frankly, a lot of misinformation going around about these new chips. Uh, I still think there's a huge number of people that are expecting Apple are just going to dump an iPad chip into a MacBook. Um, Apple Silicon wasn't ever about that, or at least that's not what Apple said it was going to be about. Uh, when they originally announced the Apple Silicon, they said that they were producing Mac-specific silicon, not just reusing an iPad chip. Uh, yes, of course, the chip is going to be based on the same underpinnings, but I'm hoping that the Mac-specific Apple Silicon will have a little bit more to offer. At the end of the day, if all Apple did was release a MacBook with an iPad chip in it, I'm not convinced that that would be much of a commercial success. I think there would be plenty of detractors speaking out against that kind of solution. Now, don't get me wrong here, the A14 Bionic chip that's in the latest iPad Air is a beast of a processor. Uh, the graphics performance is fantastic, the CPU performance is fantastic, and on its own, uh, if it was released as a Mac-specific chip, we'd probably all be very happy with the performance. But my expectation, or my hope, I should say, is that Apple are going to take it a step further and put something a little bit more powerful into the first Macs. So what kind of computer might we expect? I think uh, we're widely expecting some sort of 13-inch notebook. Uh, will that be a MacBook Air? Or perhaps a return to the original MacBook, a fanless, thin design with long battery life? Or maybe we'll see a new 13-inch MacBook Pro running on Apple Silicon. Uh, we're widely expecting a release at some point of a new 24-inch iMac. When Apple last updated the iMac, they only updated the 27-inch version, leaving lots of people to speculate that they were going to make a new 21-inch version as a 24-inch. So in other words, reduce those bezels, get a bigger screen in it. Uh, will we see the iMac at this event? I'd like to think that we would, but something inside me is saying possibly not. Uh, Apple seems to be running this fairly close to the end of the year. Now, they did say that we would see the first Apple Silicon Mac in 2020. Uh, but if the event's on November the 10th, and if any of their previous events are to go by, we're probably not going to actually be able to order this machine until December. I really hope that isn't the case. I'm getting a little bit tired of these events, you know, where with mass ceremony and excitement, these companies are announcing new tech that you just can't buy yet. I'm looking at you, NVIDIA, uh, and I'm expecting that the same thing's going to happen with AMD as well with their new processors and graphics cards. People want this equipment because the tech companies are so good at marketing it, and they're whipping consumers up into a frenzy of buying excitement. So people are going to want to buy, especially in the run-up to Christmas, and especially because of the sort of miserable year we've had. People are looking for something to cheer themselves up, and perhaps that new graphics card or that new Apple Mac is going to be just the ticket to do that. I'm hoping that we'll see a lineup of machines with immediate availability, but I'm expecting that won't be the case. When it comes to Apple Silicon itself, I think Apple need to choose a different naming convention for these Mac-specific chips. Otherwise, everyone's always going to be confusing them with the iPad lineup. And the Mac-specific chips will need some additional hardware on board to handle the additional features of Mac OS. And I'm hoping that in the process of doing that, Apple are also going to add some extra CPU cores and some extra GPU cores and give us a real powerhouse of a machine. However, <laughs> I'm not convinced that that will actually happen. I wonder whether we may get a slightly more powerful chip, but Apple go for a focus on producing a machine that has no fans in it and a really long battery life. I said months ago that Apple would probably focus on producing a computer with two-day battery life, and that would be quite a coup for them, and it would, it would sell in spade loads. Because the average consumers that are buying these type of computers care about things like battery life. And unlike me, they probably don't care about having a couple of extra CPU cores or a bit extra graphics performance. So I think those more powerful Apple computers will come. Will they come at this event next week? I'm not sure about that. And just as a caveat, of course, Apple hasn't specifically stated they'll be launching Apple Silicon at this event. However, there's already been two events. There isn't any time left in the year for them to come up with anything else. So 
uh, it does seem to be that this will be the event where we see those computers. Uh, so we're going to have a bit of coverage of the Apple event on this channel. First of all, we'll have a preview podcast. So that'll be next Monday's podcast where we'll preview the event in a bit of detail. Uh, Pete and I will look at some of the things that have happened at the previous Apple events and what we're expecting for this one. Uh, we'll watch the event together then on Tuesday and immediately afterwards we'll record another podcast episode which we'll release somewhere around the middle of next week hopefully. Uh, so that'll be a special extra episode where we review the event and the things that get released. Now assuming that uh, we can place an order for one of these machines we'll be doing that straight away to get one in for the channel so that we can start testing. And naturally we'll be doing some benchmarking but I'm keen to do real world tests and to compare an Apple Silicon Mac against an Intel Mac against a PC. Uh, I'm sure there are areas where each one of these systems will shine uh, and I'm interested to see where does Apple Silicon fit in in the real world. Is it going to be a real world solution? So we're going to find out pretty soon if Apple has pulled off a masterstroke or if this spells disaster for the Mac. Uh, either way I hope you stick with the channel to find out. Please consider subscribing. It only costs you one click to support the channel and maybe I did enough to earn a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's your thing. In any case, see you next time for some more geekery.